Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to episode number seven of our guide series. I have just gotten back from vacation, and I'm super excited to be making videos again. Um, all the videos that you guys did see, there wasn't any gap in content coming out. Um, I made those all pre before I went on vacation, but today we are going to be doing something really cool. It is time to finally start building something. I know, and the sun is setting, and I see a skeleton over there. I've already killed plenty of skeletons. Uh, let's, let's sleep real quick. As I was saying, we are going to be building something, and we are going to be building our our house we've i've been gathering a lot of materials off camera and we still got a little bit to do so let me let me talk to you about what we're going to be doing so this is the house that we're going to be building today and I, i'm pretty excited about it. i think it looks pretty awesome i, I you know I'm, I'm saying that before i actually build it but you know i see the picture in my head i think it's going to be awesome so we're going to be using all these materials like i said i've been killing some skeletons to get some bone meal i've gone out and mined a bunch of sand and gravel from the ocean and do you guys know what we're going to be making today oh yeah that's right concrete and not any kind of concrete white concrete white concrete is by far the best kind of visually looking concrete for a modern build and that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be making a modern build so we need to go ahead and pull out four of these and we're going to make a stack of concrete powder and concrete powder is it's it's pretty cool um it's it's a lot of work for material and um you know I, i've got sand hello <laughs> let's why aren't you working oh because bone meal ha i need to make this into white dye there we go perfect perfect now we can make the concrete all right so we're gonna make our concrete and Oh, that's a lot of white concrete. Okay, so I'm not going to make you guys watch this, but if you ever do get concrete, just come over to the edge of a water and just kind of tower it up like this. Whee! Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and just take our pickaxe and just start mining this. And this is going to be the process of us doing this, and the concrete will eventually float up to us. I'm not terribly worried about it and this is pretty much a quick and effective way to get concrete or not <laughs> turn concrete powder into just regular concrete so we're just finishing up here we don't have too many more um this is, this is taking a little bit longer than i thought it would but that's okay um let's let's get all of our pieces together and let me show you guys, before I actually started getting the concrete together, I kind of made a basic layout. Let, uh, you know what would be really great is if we had some scaffolding, but we don't. So uh, that's that's all right. Um, we're there, here are some of my derpy blocks. We can just use this. Um, that's what I was using to lay this out. So let's let's pillar up here. Um, we might we we might take a break real quick off camera and just go look for some uh shipwrecks see if we can't get lucky with some bamboo but anyways this is the general layout of the house over here it's it's very square and rectangular like modern houses are let me show you the inspiration i had i found this on instagram the other day and i'm kind of thinking a build like this it's up on the screen right now so I like this idea, not the civil engineering side of it, but I, I like the architectural purpose behind this. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right here we're going to be doing. And then off to here, like a little storage area, a garage-like thing. And then over in this little square area, like a library, I'm thinking for an enchanting area. However, we, we got to build the base up first, and we've got our, our little escapee right there. So let's let's go sleep real quick, um, and le let's just start with the base. So I kind of lied here. Um, we, we came out of the ocean real quick in search of a couple shipwrecks. Um, we actually got kind of lucky. So I'm right over a shipwreck right now, um, and we... Uh, hello. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We found some bamboo in one of these chests, and I, you should have seen my reaction when I actually did it. was something like, ah, kind of like that. Um, I, I, sorry if you guys had headphones in. Uh, that was not uh, my intentions to burst your eardrums. But, uh, yeah, we're, oh, we're taking damage. Get to the top. Um, get some air. So, yeah, we got ourselves some bamboo, which is perfect. 
we can start to grow some. So we've already got some more bamboo growing. So while we wait, we're going to go ahead and start with just just the base. And <laughs> perfect, it's raining. Uh, why does why does Minecraft do this to me? All right, let's let's sleep real quick. It's raining. Let me go up ahead. So the idea in my head right now, and you guys have seen it. Um, I want to start with this being the front level. So I'm thinking white concrete right here. And then we're going to take this edge all the way over until we're just above that cobblestone. I'm not quite sure how I want to do the pillars yet. Maybe we just bring white concrete all the way down. But yeah, so let's keep figuring out this base. And then we'll we'll jump to once the little base of it is done. So we've kind of got the base uh, kind of laid out. We're going to do a little bit of terraforming, but I'm liking that it's an overhang right here. I'm really liking that. I think we could build like a garden over here eventually. Anyways, we're, we're coming into this area and I'm realizing it's not the highest point. So I'm thinking maybe we extend this out and make a second level, which would be kind of cool. So yeah, that, that's kind of the plan. I didn't realize how much concrete this is going to be using. Um, but yeah, it, it's going. So let's keep working on this and we'll, we'll stop in periodically and I'll show you guys where we're at. Well, I've dropped down just a little. We've kind of got the frame laid out. I, I like the shape that's kind of taking, especially, like I said, in this area. I, I'm really thinking there could be something cool done here. And I'm thinking that we could put a storage room in there. Um, I, I didn't realize that this was a lot bigger of a project than I budgeted materials for. So we're going to have to collect some uh, more material off camera, which I'm not really looking forward to. But, you know, I love you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys um, and make sure we actually get this build done today. But, yeah, so it's starting to look a little more blocky. Um, we definitely are going to have to start adding some detail in a few minutes. But just keep in mind, this is just the structural aspect of it. Um, we haven't put too much detail in it. We're just kind of blocking out <laughs> blocking. This is Minecraft. We use blocks <laughs> um, blocking out our idea before we jump in with too much detail. That's what a lot of people like to do when they're building, especially things that aren't just already pre laid out. So over here, we've kind of laid it out. So over here, I think what we're going to do is match up the terrain. So it's level. So there could be like two entrances per se. Um, maybe that will be our main entrance, who knows, but we're just messing around with different shapes and squares to see the look that we want to get. So let, uh, I'm going to keep working on it and we're going to see what else we can do. So we're taking a little pause here. We need some more uh, birch wood and quite a bit of birch wood. Um, I'm thinking of doing the floors in, in our build with birch. I think that'll match up nicely with the white aesthetic of the concrete and then along with the spruce wood i just like the light color of the birch wood and i think it would work out really well with our block palette um, the other thing that we're going to have to be getting is sand and we're going to need quite a bit of sand i i want to build um, a lot of glass panes as like decks and everything so that's why we're kind of gathering up some sand too let's uh we're almost we're almost there we're gonna start putting a little bit of detail into this build guys guys it's our lucky day look what we found we found a lead salesman oh my gosh let's go see what he has Let, let's see if he has anything good lead salesman hello rain go away all right let, let's see anything actually you don't have that bad of trades Unfortunately, we don't have any emeralds, so you're useless. Um, you two, you two look away. Um, nope. Oh, gosh. I got one of them. Oh, no. Ah! Uh... Alright, well, I was trying to keep you guys, but, um, you guys have done it now. I, I, I gotta take care of you as well. Alright. Oh, nope. You're not friendly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, so we got some, uh, our... We got some leaves, which is perfect. Loving that. Let's go back over to what we were doing when we found the lead salesman, which was putting in the floor while we wait for our, our glass to smelt up. And I'm what I'm thinking is this area is going to be a deck. 
yeah, a deck. It's going to be quite a big one. <laughs> so we've just added our windows in and it's it's I, I like the look of it. I like the shape of it. There's still some that we need to do to it. Um, definitely going to help when we start detailing it a little bit better and a little bit more. But this is just kind of still a rough look, but I, it's coming together. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to be happy with it. So this is the house this far. Um, I, I think it's turning out pretty good. Now, yes, it needs quite a bit of detailing. Um, let's go ahead and check it out so far. We still got a lot of the interior in the backside to do. I, I don't know if we're going to get that done in today's video. Today might be just a shorter video, um, and we might come back in the next episode and finish detailing it. And off camera, I'll probably work on the backside. It does need quite a bit of work, but I'm liking it. Let's go around, and I'll kind of show you what it looks like. There's quite a bit of mobs in there. I've tried my best to light it up. Um, like this square, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I know it's going to be a library, but I don't know how we're going to make it into a library yet. So we got to do some creative thinking off camera, um, but let me show you guys kind of what it looks like so far inside after we um, take care of these zombies. So let's pop over this corner real quick. And as you can see, there's this long walkway, which is going to go down into a garage per se. And that's going to be our storage room. And that's why we have that like garage door over there, which I'll show you guys in just a second, which you probably saw. So that garage door is going to have an entry way that we can actually get into the storage room with ease. And that whole lower level is going to be kind of dug out into a storage room. And then here, we got to figure out a way to actually fill in this space. Um, bookshelves are my go-to thing, but we do not have that much paper yet. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to get there. Um, but it's turning out pretty well. I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this thus far. There's definitely going to be a point where we need to detail, but if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Let me know what you suggest about this build. What could we do better? And keep in mind, this is not our complete build yet. Um, this is the structure before we put some detailing in, but if you got ideas for the interior or some of the detailing that we could do, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Thanks so much for watching today's episode, guys. Go ahead and make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button down below, and let me know what you guys think of this series. Is it fun? Do you guys enjoy it? Leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in our next episode.